Good morning, and uh, it's the sports segment on the weekend show. And uh, it's been very, very great listening to all that's gone on before. And you know, sports gives you the very best. So what has been happening this week is really, really been... Uh, well, big, big time stuff uh, as far as uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is concerned. Rape allegations uh, this time hitting uh, the world of sports and uh, Ronaldo is not taking it kindly at all. He says, I didn't do it. And the American woman, Katrine Mayoga, says, well, you actually uh, did it in your penthouse. And the story has always been, what were you doing there? And then the story has also always been, why would you do that, Cristiano? Well, we don't know who is actually guilty or who is not. Uh, but um, uh, we, we've got uh, a whole lot to talk about this morning. But let me tell you uh, that uh, it wasn't the right result for Enyimba of Haba in the CAF Confederations Cup in midweek. They were beaten 1-0 at home by Raja Casablanca of Morocco. A whole lot of shenanigans went on before that game. Uh, Raja arriving at a different time than they told Enyimba and Enyimba uh, uh, management not being there to receive them. And... Um, Eventually, the game was lost, and then Enyimba was all about. Raja flew in with the match officials from Tunisia. Why would CAF use Tunisia match officials uh, for a game involving a Nigerian team and a Moroccan uh, side? Well, uh, you could say, does that sound uh, like a conspiracy? Well, it does appear that Enyimba also shot themselves in the foot because they did get a penalty, which was lost in that game. All is not lost, though they can and should try to go pull their chestnuts out of the fire in that second leg, uh, which holds uh, on the 23rd at the Stade Mohamed 5 in Casablanca. And, um, uh, you know, at home too, anybody have a big hurdle to cross tomorrow if they are to reach the semi-final of the ITO Cup or the Federation Cup. They face uh, their big-time rivals, Cano Pillars, at the Pantami Stadium in Gombe. That's tomorrow. Uh, in the qu last quarterfinal of the ITO Cup. But there was a big shock in midweek. Well, maybe not a very big shock because it was another big side that took out the defending champions. Rangers International of Enugu into the semifinals. They are five-time champions themselves, but they knocked out the current champions, Aqua United. 1-1 uh, in finish at the Sunny Abacha Stadium in Kano. 4-2 was the final score on um, penalties. Uh, the other qualifiers for the semifinal, Katsina United winning 2-1 against uh, uh, Quara United at the Agege Stadium in Lagos. And the Nasarawa United reached their third semi-final in five years. Uh, they beat the Academy Warriors of Medugri by one goal to nil. Unconfirmed reports, though, saying uh, that the Academy coach Imama Mafakabo says he's resigned because he signed a one-year deal. Well, not resigned, that he's leaving. I mean, like I said, unconfirmed reports uh, because uh, the season has ended with his team's exit from uh, the ITU uh, Cup. In midweek, though, uh, we did see the best of Lionel Messi as uh, Barcelona uh, did uh, beat Tottenham Hotspur 4 2 uh, at the Wembley Stadium in London in the UEFA Champions League. Uh, but um, he set up two goals in the first half, scored two in the second. Uh, but one of those goals he helped set up uh, has been you know, the talk of uh, the town. And that, that's um, the goal scored by Ivan Rakiti, the Croat, the Croatian midfielder against the Hugo Lloris. It was an absolute peach. Uh, we try to get you, uh, you know, that. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, also in the Champions League, all sorts of talk about uh, the future of Jose Mourinho. Everyone, in, well, he's got a dreaded vote of confidence. And what does the dreaded vote of confidence mean? When your team is messing up on the pitch and the management says, Fear not, we are with you. That's uh, the level Mourinho is at now. 99 out of 100 times, once you get a vote of confidence, what follows next is a sack. So is Mourinho going to get sacked? That seems more likely because uh, no, no, no management has ever sacked all the players, so the manager will stay. It's usually the manager uh, who gets the short end of the stick. So Jose Mourinho, is he going to stay? or he isn't going to stay? That is the big, big question as far as um, uh, Manchester United is concerned. And uh, United, well, they didn't do well in midweek as again. They drew goalless against Valencia at Old Trafford, and uh, Mourinho was up to his old talk all about, uh, well, uh, we played a good game, didn't get the right result. For how long are you going to be talking about that, Josie? That seems to be what everyone is saying. You've been losing in the league, not having the, you know, the good results, drawing with Wolves and you know, losing games to Burnley. And um, 
Well, um, I, I didn't mention uh, the goal scored by Ivan Rakitic uh, in the UEFA Champions League against uh, uh, Tottenham Hotspur. By the way, it was a second straight loss for Tottenham and, of course, a second straight victory for FC Barcelona. Barcelona, they've not been really firing too much. But there was another goal also scored on uh, Saturday, just a few days earlier, um, also uh, in London. Chelsea against... Uh, um, you know, Liverpool. Of course, uh, that, that goal was an absolute stonker. Uh, I mean, look at that strike. There was nothing Kepa Ariza Balaga could do about that. Just control, smashed it into the top corner. And, uh, I mean, two goalkeepers may not save that. And how about this uh, from Rakitic? I mean, the ball played back, and look at that finish. He took it on the half volley, and nothing Hugo Lloris or any other goalkeeper in the world could do about that. So what we want to do, actually, having seen these two goals, uh, guys, if you're watching me, if you're watching the weekend show, we want you to look at the goal by uh, Daniel Sturridge against Chelsea last weekend and the one by Ivan Rakitic against Tottenham in the Champions League and vote uh, on our social media handles at the Weekend Show NG. Uh, you can, we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, and uh, we are on Instagram. Let's know. Uh, the goal you think is the better uh, between uh, the Rakitic strike uh, for Barcelona against Tottenham and the Daniel Storage equalizer for Liverpool against Chelsea. Next week, we'll tell you exactly which one you guys have voted. Again, you can uh, visit, uh, of course, our social media handles at the Weekend Show NG and uh, get voting. I voted for Rakitic. I voted for uh, Daniel Storage. Uh, Storage, uh, he's coming back uh, into his own for Liverpool, who suffered their first uh, defeat of the season in the Champions League. And uh, an agonizing one it was at the start San Paolo, they lost 1 0 to Napoli. 90 plus 3. And it was Lorenzo Isini who scored a goal. Uh, it was a back breaking goal. No time to react, no time to equalize. Uh, but Liverpool, the big news about them is that they're always in the news uh, because they face Manchester City in what is the standout fixture this weekend uh, as far as um, uh, the English Premier League is concerned. And um, like we did last week, we got talking to a few uh, guys in Abuja about what they really think. Who do you think uh, is going to win uh, between Liverpool and Manchester uh, City uh, tomorrow? So we did a little uh, bit, uh, you know, of uh, seeing what the fans, you know, think. Last week, they went for Liverpool to win against Chelsea. In the end, though, I think uh, uh, they were left seeking a late equalizer which uh, that story go uh, gained for them uh, with that footage um, not uh, exactly uh, you know, available right now uh, so but uh, liverpool man city everyone expects by the way you can ask as well uh, try to do some predictions on our social media handles at the weekend show um, ng and uh, uh, well i understand of course uh, we're going to uh, show you that uh, very very quickly uh, but let me just uh, let you know about uh, my top 10 clubs. Now, the top 10 uh, clubs I do uh, is usually for the previous month just gone by. So, uh, the top 10 I'm going to do today will be uh, for the month of September. So, if you see certain teams in certain places on the ranking, well, that's my ranking, that's the weekend show's ranking, you know, don't say, well, but they had a good result yesterday. Well, if they had that result in uh, October, that's why they're not where uh, you expect them to be. So let's uh, take a look at what fans in Abuja think about Liverpool against Manchester City English Premier League match tomorrow at uh, Anfield. I really want Liverpool to win because they play very well. This part in Man City, they are playing by, with name. But you know in football, name doesn't count. It's what people play, the formations, the quality of players. Like Liverpool, they have attack, they have defence, and defence is what really matters in football. Those three Lions are the front, in the front, they are the ones that decide match. Whenever you find Salah, you find Mani, and you see Firmino, then you have hope. If you're a coach, having those kind of three players, you don't think about losing. You always think about winning, winning games. Liverpool, Man City. <laughs> I feel the form of Salah, Salah lost his form, Man is on point, Storage is back to life and Man City have been struggling in Champions League but they have been doing well in the Premier League. I feel that match will be draw. it's going to be 1-1 one -one because I don't see it. both teams will be, will be too careful, they don't want to lose. In terms of, because if you come to the team, you first of all look into their, look into the, the pattern of their, the way they play ball and the attack and the way they create chances. So I give it to Liverpool. 
Uh, for now, uh, Man City is, is at the right uh, track. They are doing well from the starting of the season. Even last season, they did well. I see Liverpool. I see Man City taking victory over that match. I see 3-1. Yes, thank you. Man City, Man City. 2-1, two 2-1. One, two one. Man City to win, 2-1. No, actually, I, uh, I love Man City. And I believe Man City will win. At least. Should be around 3-1. Well, based on the current form, I think Liverpool should take the day. 2-1 or 3-1, something like that. I give it to Liverpool because Liverpool have a very good, fantastic team now. For Premier League, you can see how they play. Yes, uh, Liverpool will win, the, they win the match because they know how to play ball and everything of their team, everything, uh, everything of Liverpool, I like it because they are my fans. I like Liverpool. Liverpool win 3-0. Yes. All right, Liverpool, they are my fans. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, um, guys, uh, we just about run out of time on this post segment on the weekend show. But let me just tell you that uh, the top 10 this week is headlined by Juventus Turin. They've been absolutely uh, in top form. Napoli is in 10th position. All the in-betweens, check out our social media handles at the weekend show NG. Don't forget to vote for your goal of the week. Is it Rakitic? Is it Daniel uh, Storage? That's sports. I am Kelechi on the way and I'm wishing you a great weekend ahead. Up next on the weekend show, where the show continues, is entertainment with Ina. Peters. Thank you very much and bye-bye.